Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo, and you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best. You heard? So, I got my glasses on. Don't worry, everybody. I am focused on driving. I'm not even looking at the screen, man, because I'm very close to being where I'm at. So, let's get it started, right? Gratitude exercise. What are you grateful for? Um, I am grateful for, name three things you're grateful for. So I'm grateful for my wife is and kids as usual. Um, I'm grateful for uh, a roof over my head. I am grateful for, I got to give a shout out to this. I looked at my analytics um, on YouTube the other day. Actually, last night, I was up to like one o'clock in the morning and realized that I had a lot of people from around the world watching my videos so I am grateful for that I'm grateful for the people in the United States that are rocking with me I'm grateful for the people in Great Britain Kenya uh, East Africa uh, Jamaica Trinidad uh, Haiti I don't see you on there man what's, what's good y'all don't love me okay so um, I want to talk about uh, how I owned Ducky Cheese I owned Chuck E. Cheese, man. Let me let me explain something to you. Whenever you say I whenever you say that I don't own this company, I don't have to go hard for this company. This ain't my company. You lost, my friend. You lost. What up, Zone? Zone White in the building. So whenever you say, this ain't my company, I don't own this company, you own this company, you lost. You lost. You have to treat whatever company you're working for, if you're working with a company, if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to go hard in the paint and win, win, win no matter what, whatever company you're working for, you got to go hard all the time meaning when I worked at Chuck E. Cheese what up brother when I worked at Chuck E. Cheese right boom I treated Chuck E. Cheese like I own the joint I literally act like I own the place I was 20 years old you know I was a cashier brother I went I was a cashier I was um, I, I jumped in the mascot suit you know um, I did birthday parties I worked the video games. I did everything as if I owned that Chuck E. Cheese. Now, a lot of people were saying to me, yo, why are you going so hard? Why are you going so hard for Chuck E. Cheese, man? They don't care about you. What up, Edgar? Why are you going so hard for Chuck E. Cheese, man? They, they, they pay you minimum wage. I was like, it ain't about them. It's about me. It's about me developing a strong work ethic and, and being able to See what I'm made of. See what kind of potential I got to do. Bro, I was I was down on my knees scrubbing grout. You know what I'm saying? Um, I did everything in my power. I used to wake up before everybody and get there when the managers were there. I used to leave when the managers left. That's how hard I went to work at Chuck E. Cheese. You know what I mean? I did everything in my power to win in Chuck E. Cheese. I treated that company like it was mine. You understand? So I didn't say, hey, this ain't my company. Uh, you know, I'm not getting paid a lot. Once I did that, I psych you you will literally psych yourself out, right? And start to scale back and not perform to your fullest ability. So I'll give you an example of what happened, man. Um the CEO of Chuck E. Cheese. What up, Lawrence? Shams, what's good? So, the CEO of Chuck E. Cheese was scheduled to come to our location. I worked at Chuck E. Cheese in Chicago. Um, where was this? Where was this? Uh, on Fullerton. A lot of people in Chicago know about that one. I worked at Chuck E. Cheese in, uh, on Fullerton in Chicago. The CEO was scheduled to come down. Uh, the... Um, the manager was frantic. 
She was scared to death. She was like, man, we got to get everything in tip top shape. I need you guys to scrub the grout. I need you guys to clean all the machines. I need you guys to do everything. I mean, dude, we, we was doing some grunt work. Me and my boy Shanty, we got it popping. We did whatever it took to make sure that our store was in tip top shape, right? Because we assumed ownership. We felt that that store is us. That store represented us. If this store does good.